Hello everyone, PFM41 here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the uh, Mazda SST 303-507 uh, timing peg. So this is used to hold the crankshaft still on the Mazda 2.3 liter engines. I'll put a longer list of uh, the vehicles this will work on in the description. But this is uh, for the uh, 2.3 liter turbocharged engine used in the Mazda 3, the Mazda uh, 6, or the Mazda Speed 3, the Mazda Speed 6, and the Mazda CX-7. This one's for a CX-7. So, this is going to be pretty easy. So to start off with, we have a M10 by a 40 millimeter bolt. This is a 1.5 thread pitch. Um, this isn't exactly what we need, though. We need a little bit shorter to be specific. We want the threaded portion to be 38.55 millimeters long. So this is 40 millimeters long or thereabouts. So we're going to shore it up just a tiny bit until it's just the right length. And to do that, we're going to chuck it in the vise and just use the flap disc to very slowly and carefully shorten up the bolt until it's the right length. Okay, so I have the bolt shaved down to just the right length now. I just used the flap disc on the angle grinder and slowly took off little by little until it was at the right length. So I have my digital calipers here set up to 38.56 millimeters, which is as close as I could get to 38.55. And we measure the length of the threads and you can see we are pretty much right on the money. Now it's important to get the length of this bolt as close as possible because what you're going to do is you're going to thread this into the block and then the counterweight on the crankshaft is going to butt up against the end of it and that sets the crankshaft at top dead center so it's important to get the length as close as possible to 38.55 millimeters um, and that's really all there is to it very quick very easy to make uh, unfortunately I won't be able to show uh, this in use in this video because the vehicle that I'm using this on is not currently torn apart yet and until I get the cover off you won't be able to see what this is doing. Uh, so unfortunately we're going to have to leave the video off here but that video where you will be able to see this in use should be posted uh, pretty soon and uh, once it is I will go ahead and I will put a link in the description down below to the exact time where you can see this tool in use.